a lucky accident, tapping into Earth's fury. We've all heard stories of construction mishaps, a pipe bursts, a wire snaps, a foundation cracks. These things are annoying, sometimes expensive, but usually not a big deal. Now imagine accidentally drilling into a pool of molten rock, the fiery heart of our planet. This isn't a scene from a disaster movie. This is what happened in Iceland in 2009. The Icelandic Deep Drilling Project, or IDDP, a team of scientists and engineers, was drilling a deep well in the Krafla geothermal field. They were hoping to find superheated water, a good source of geothermal energy. Instead, about two kilometers down, their drill hit a magma chamber. Molten rock, heated to over 900 degrees Celsius, surged up the well, a scary encounter with the Earth's raw power. This could have been a disaster. Luckily the well was quickly sealed, preventing a huge eruption. What seemed like a big problem quickly turned into a scientific opportunity. The IDDP had accidentally created the world's hottest geothermal well, a potential game-changer for energy. This accidental encounter with magma got scientists really excited. Could we use this intense heat, this powerful energy source to power our world? The answer, as Iceland is now showing us, might be yes. Iceland, a land of fire and ice, has a close relationship with geothermal energy. Volcanoes, geysers, and hot springs are everywhere, a constant reminder of the huge power underground. For centuries, Icelanders have used this natural heat to warm their homes, take hot baths, and even bake bread. In the 1900s, Iceland started using geothermal energy on a larger scale. Geothermal power plants, using steam from deep wells to power turbines, now provide about 30% of the country's electricity. This shift to renewable energy has helped Iceland use a lot less fossil fuels, making it a world leader in clean energy. The 2009 incident at Krafla added a new dimension to Iceland's geothermal ambitions. Tapping into the intense heat of magma instead of just superheated water could potentially increase energy output by 10 times. This led to the Krafla Magma Testbed, or KMT, a big project that aims to unlock the secrets of magma energy. The Krafla Magma Testbed, started in 2014, is a brave step into the unknown. Its goal is to drill back into the magma chamber they found in 2009, this time on purpose and with the right safety measures. The project has lots of challenges, both technical and scientific. Drilling into magma is really hard. The extreme temperatures and pressures require special equipment and materials. Scientists and engineers are working together to develop new drilling techniques and materials that can handle the tough conditions deep underground. The KMT project has a few main goals. First, it will let scientists study magma where it is, giving us valuable information about how our planet works. Second, it will test if we can get heat from magma to make electricity. Finally, it will look at the environmental impacts of magma energy and find ways to make it safe. The promise and peril of magma energy. Magma energy has huge potential benefits. Magma is a practically endless source of energy, much stronger than regular geothermal resources. One magma well could power a small city, providing clean, renewable energy for a long time. However, drilling into the Earth's molten heart is risky. The 2009 incident at Krafla shows us the potential dangers. A leak in a magma chamber could cause earthquakes, release dangerous gases, or even cause a volcano to erupt. The KMT project is taking these risks seriously. They have lots of safety rules and monitoring systems to detect and fix any problems. The project is also being carefully studied to make sure it doesn't harm the environment. A glimpse into the future. A renewable energy revolution? The Krafla Magma Testbed is a long-term project, planned to last for many years. If it works, it could start a new era of renewable energy, one powered by the Earth's own heat. Imagine a future where clean, endless energy is available to everyone, where we don't need fossil fuels anymore. This is the promise of magma energy, a vision that Iceland, through its experiments at Krafla, is making a reality. The KMT project is still new, but it has already taught us a lot about the challenges and opportunities of magma energy. The world is watching, excited to see if Iceland can once again use the power of its volcanoes to create a more sustainable future.